Yesterday, tracking the weather, and sure, you have more to do today because we're going to see more of that threat, the lightning, the, the tornado warnings, the thunderstorms. You got it. it. Well, luckily, no tornado warnings out there now. But yesterday, another day, another tornado warning. Uh, today, though, it's just plain old showers and thunderstorms in place this morning. But these would be southeastern Massachusetts, still suffering from a case of strong thunderstorms. Right now, just starting to lift away from Provincetown at 70 degrees. You can see all those lightning strikes out in that direction. Duxbury still pretty wet all the way back through about New Bedford and Fall River. And again, the lightning strike is going to be one of the big concerns for today. We've got temperatures widespread in Boston and Metro West in the lower 70s as we speak. It is dry there right now. We've got a little thunderstorm that might actually end up nicking Cape Ann here in the near term. And then we turn our attention into central and western Massachusetts. Worcester Hills still dry at this point, but those thunderstorms now moving just into Barrie, now moving into Ringe, New Hampshire, Amherst, New Hampshire as well. And you're going to see a lot of southern New Hampshire um, being swallowed by those thunderstorms here really within the next hour to two hours. Same with Worcester County. These areas are going to become stormier here in the next couple of hours. Boston could get hit with a rogue storm here in the next hour to two hours, but that cold front and the storms attached to it haven't quite reached you folks yet. It's going to be highs today, low to mid 70s. Where we are is where we're going to stay as far as the temperatures are concerned. This whole area is all highlighted in green. Almost everybody, the exception being the Cape and the Islands, under a flash flood watch. If you were out there and you saw those storms yesterday, you know exactly why. If you're out there this morning and you saw those storms, you know why. They come with downpours. A very stormy setup here, a very slow moving cold front. It might end up working in our favor. That we have a lot of clouds around because at least we're not seeing a heat up. If it was to heat up and the clouds break apart, then we would get really powerful thunderstorms. Even without that warm up, we're still at risk for a severe storm or two. So this morning on your screen here, storms over time as we head towards noon, inching their way towards the Boston area. I think absolutely anybody could get a storm at lunchtime. And then for the afternoon, the focus of those storms will remain over eastern Massachusetts. Western Mass starts to dry out. I, I know Central Mass kind of caught in the middle here. I'm thinking by 5 p.m. Worcester should be looking dry. There might be one lingering storm or two around, but it's going to be mostly along the coast, the Cape, the islands. So those are the spots that are going to be um, kind of in my concerned area for the evening commute. Then for the evening itself, once you're home, it's dinner time. Boston dries out. The remaining storms are going to come to an end across the Cape and the islands around midnight tonight. And then we get that less muggy air moving in. We're going to clear on out for tomorrow. The area. We do. I think the primary concern today is actually going to end up being flash flooding, but I did get this tweet this morning from Sharon saying, not so good morning. Please ask Mother Nature to quit bowling. Hate thunder and lightning. Oh, Sharon, I've got some really bad news because it's not just a morning thing. It's on and off storms all day long. So we've got the heavy rain threat, both morning and evening commutes today. I think even higher risk for thunder, lightning and flooding, though, as we go towards the evening commute because it's eastern mass that's going to stay kind of in that target line for storms all day long. Now, though, uh, obviously, it's areas of southeastern mass. Massachusetts taking the brunt of it all the way from New Bedford and Fall River to Duxbury. We've got a swath of uh, some stronger thunderstorms more back behind them as well. So it's going to continue to stream overhead. Uh, this is what it looks like as far as the fog goes this morning. This should end up slowly easing up as we head through the morning hours, but visibility is under a mile in Chatham. So you got the fog, you got the storms. Everything is saying less than perfect morning. So pack your patience as you hit the roads. Also, uh, Taunton under two mile visibility. In fact, under a mile and a half at this point. So we are going to struggle with a little fog this morning. Great news is the weekend, the 70s and sunshine back for the Cape. The beaches north of Boston get some 80s, but it's all sun for Saturday and Sunday. We'll talk about the timeline of the returning sun coming up. Shannon, back to flooding. In fact, we've got a flash flood watch in effect for most of the region here, excluding the Cape and the Islands, because because we could see several inches of rain yet again today. It looks like a widespread one to three inches of rain, but we've actually recently had a flash flood. I'm going to beat that lady that brought the cheese, though, that time. Oh, I mean, she legitimately <laughs> had a bag full of half she of her did. house. She's so smart. <laughs> Howie, I think uh, Jay Carney's going to be there. I, I was uh, I was thinking about that. Uh, yeah, Whitey Bulger's uh, lawyer who uh, they had his uh, oh. toes painted purple, right? Right, they were purple. I, yeah, I, I saw it with well. my own eyes. Yeah, I, I tried to do a follow-up a few days yeah, later, and uh, he refused.
he, he refused <laughs> to say funny. anything. Uh, Bob. He we, wasn't singing like a parakeet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of parakeets, Bob, yeah. we may have a new mass most wanted for you because this guy is still on the loose. This if lady, be. if you recognize this guy. And he was looking in the, the window holler. trying to see what's going on yeah, in here. Like, like hey, there's a nice food, food or something. Yeah. Maybe they should have brought a mirror, right? And that's when they look at each other. No? He might fly this in. Why, this is why you don't work for the Animal Rescue League, Bob. All right. Hey, that's not the only bird on the loose. Check out what's going on in London. Guys, yeah, yeah, I, I think so. it, it is a comedy classic. And so they're promoting it. That's this uh, set of shows at the O2. And it's not dead, it's just resting. Right. So don't get all upset. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love Very it funny. Too. Yeah. Hey, listen, I, got a, I just got a message, uh, an email actually, from a guy who said, please tell me that the intruder that was looking for Katy Perry at the Kennedy compound was an illegal alien. And I think I have some bad news for him. It was not an illegal alien, as, as best we can tell. It was an American citizen. Th thank you for that. He did, put on, he did wear uh, his bizarre best. Bizarre story, though. He, put, he wore his bizarre. best Amer uh, His Captain America shirt, shirt was, right, uh, was right. something to be seen. Paul O'Brien asks, are you sure the stalker at Kennedy Compound wasn't looking for Taylor Swift? Perhaps they had their celebrities uh, confused. I don't know. The whole thing is this. Hey, morning news. We're talking to you, dogs and cats. Exactly. We'll tell you how to look younger. No, but I think we're talking about people in that case. I thought you meant getting case. the dog would make you look younger. <laughs> I think that oh, may be like what we're getting at. So we're going to discuss that coming up. I'm sure a lot of people are very interested in that, of course. In the meantime, we'll talk about that. A break-in at the Kennedy compound in Hyannisport as well. Very bizarre story. Very strange. That Looking we've been for covering. Katy Perry, but going into the Kennedy compound in Hyannisport. Right. The guy's under arrest, so we're we'll going to take a good report. look at that. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the meantime, some severe weather yesterday and still into today as well. Yeah, guys, take a look at these graphs. Talk about a war world of difference in just one day. More on that coming up. Shannon, back to you. Along with those thunderstorms, maybe, yeah, one or two storms have some strong gusty damaging winds that cause a severe thunderstorm warning to be issued. But I think overall, it's the flooding and it's the sheer number of lightning strikes that are going to be our biggest concern. Uh, temperatures today should make it into about the middle 70s here. It's, it's not going to be too grand to warm up because we're going to have a lot of clouds around today. Now, some of the most concerning storms at this point over Bristol County, you can see Fall River, uh, even up through Taunton at this point, just getting hammered by storms. I mean, heavy rain, lots of lightning with these stretching all the way up to the South Shore here. So it's really from Plymouth all the way up to Situate and Hingham right now, just seeing a, a mess of storms. So if you're traveling at all across southeastern Massachusetts, uh, Bridgewater looking pretty sloppy at this point too. You're going to encounter those storms. The downpours are going to impede your vision here. It, it's really going to slow you down on the roadways and that's going to be another concern that we've got to focus on. But storms now moving into northern Worcester County as well as southern New Hampshire. This one right here in particular is actually going to move towards Nashua, New Hampshire. So things are starting to uh, get a little uh, more heated, I guess you could say, across our viewing area. I think southeastern Massachusetts is probably going to see storm after storm roll up. You can see how much more storm action uh, there is all the way back through Long Island. This will continue to spill into southeastern Mass during the morning hours, but this front is going to move eastward. It's going to spread those storms towards the Boston area here. So your Fox timeline, very important. Please take a look at this if you haven't already this morning, because by 11 o'clock this morning, so in the next couple hours, what's going to happen? A lot of those dry spots fill in. Boston's going to start seeing those storms as well. As we get into the early afternoon, there could still be a couple lingering storms across the Worcester Hills, but between 2 and 5, it looks like central mass will probably dry out. And after that, for the rest of the afternoon, this is 2 p.m., rest of the afternoon, it's going to be on and off storms here focused right across Eastern Massachusetts, the Cape, the Islands, South Shore, South Coast, all the way into Boston, North Shore, New Hampshire, Sea Coast as well at 5 p.m. Those are spots that we're going to have to watch for thunderstorms during the evening commute. After that, though, so after about 8 o'clock tonight, it looks like storms should be done for the Boston area, but could continue into the overnight here for the Cape and the Islands. That's this last spot that's going to dry out. We really need that front to get offshore to truly start to dry out. And, you know, it's interesting to put up some of the models. Uh, they've been kind of all over the place with some of their numbers predicted for how much rain we're going to get. But I think the takeaway here is that we're still seeing some areas, you know, pumping out maybe an inch and a half of rain. It does look like one to three inches of rain remain a possibility today. Thus, the flash flood watch that's in effect for most of the area because there is that chance that storm after storm will roll in with heavy rains and if it comes down hard enough fast enough we're going to have some flooding issues luckily a lot less humidity is going to come into town back behind this cold front tomorrow it's going to be partly sunny it's going to be mostly sunny here on friday and the next several days after that 
we just get more of this sun. So we got to get through a, couple, a lot of that going on the last couple of weeks. Right? Was it last Monday we had the tornado I believe so. Watches. We've had some severe uh, weather. The tornado warning last week, a tornado warning yesterday. Uh, luckily, no injuries or anything yeah. of the right. sort. But a lot of damage. Just goes to show you, I, I've actually got my intern Lucy working on a graphic. Did you know annually Massachusetts averages three tornadoes? I had no idea. It happens. It happens. I mean, We're it's learning. not the midwest. Yeah. a couple Usually. years ago. Right, sure. absolutely. Yeah. Um, so anyways, let's take you to the graphics this morning and into the afternoon. But the main area of concern right here, southeastern Massachusetts. Lucy, if you could go ahead and do a zoom for me here. Uh, we have a newly issued flash flood warning here for now. 84 on Sunday with just a few added clouds. Bit of a beach breeze, though, going to hold the immediate coast itself in the lower 80s, if not the upper 70s. That's a check on your forecast. Melissa, back to you. Sure. Welcome into the 9 o'clock hour, everybody, on the Fox 25 Morning News. Howie's still along with us, and of course, Bob filling in for Gene this morning. Uh, we got some new information on that bizarre break in at the Kennedy compound in Hyannisport. We're going to bring that information to you in just a moment. Sounds great. We also have something coming up on credit monitoring services, what you need to know. It's always important to stay on top of your credit rating these Absolutely. days. Everything's tied to that, and everything's tied to weather. The yeah, I mean, the face says it all. <laughs> it, it's gonna, it's one of those days. I mean, if we've already got flood yeah. warnings being issued and it's it's what active. time, nine in the morning, it, yeah. it's gonna be an active wow. day. Even yeah. the Boston area, in fact, I think Boston could end up taking the brunt of some of these storms this afternoon. Now, though, just starting to see some showers out towards Newton and Arlington as well, Wakefield. So, uh, geez, Boston, it's coming for you and it's coming soon. At this point, the worst of it, Situate, Marshfield, Pembroke, Bridgewater, down to Lakeville. Taunton, Somerset, Fall River, Rehoboth. These spots actually under a flash flood warning. It's raining so hard in these areas that flooding is actually likely at this point. On top of it, you see all those lightning strikes? I was out there yesterday. It was lit up. These storms just having so much energy along with them. I think we're going to deal with a lot more lightning strikes here as the day goes on. So it is a situation where you're gonna, I'm going to urge you to travel carefully. If you notice a storm with lots of lightning, maybe wait until it passes because there will be breathers throughout the day. Although all day long we've got that potential of storms, I do think that they're going to be mostly across eastern Massachusetts after about 5 o'clock this afternoon. So could be a tricky drive home from work as well. More on that coming up. Over to you. It's one of the things that you'll never actually see as part of the criteria for being a severe thunderstorm. Uh, severe thunderstorms or plain thunderstorms, they both always have lightning. Lightning is something that we don't necessarily always focus on, but I gotta say, there's a ton of lightning going on. Yesterday it was out there, today we're seeing a lot of lightning strikes. So it is a situation where you have to be especially careful. We're not gonna have any severe thunderstorm warnings issued because of lightning itself, but it's out there and it's out there in full force today. Tons of humid air just rolling into place. Now the Worcester Hills starting to see some of those showers too. Not so much the lightning factor yet, but you will as the morning goes on. So so by noontime here, this is way under dumb. We're going to have a lot more thunderstorms speckled across southern New England. Anybody could see that noontime storm with the heavy rain, the frequent lightning, perhaps some flash flooding as well. But between 2 and 5, it ends in Worcester, continues out towards the Boston area. And in Boston, I don't think it's until about 8 o'clock tonight. I mean, it's crazy. And we were just talking about doing errands after work, and Sherry was saying, no, don't do it. There's so be careful at least. Home. You said the be lightning careful. strikes yeah. are unbelievable. I, I don't think today is the day. I don't usually say something like this, but yeah. I don't think today is the day for running any extra errands just because there's so much lightning wow. with mm. these storms. There's you know, um, an obvious danger that goes along with the lightning. Uh, to put it into perspective, mm -hmm. I'll actually take you to the graphics because this some of the prime spots that can take on some water. We don't want you driving through any flooded roadways. We do a total 180 here tomorrow, and I'll have a complete look at that seven-day forecast coming up soon. Melissa, to you. You hear that thunder? Uh, uh, challenges with today's storm is going to be all that heavy, heavy rain. Seriously, restrict your ability to drive. You're going to have to take it easy, plan accordingly. There is absolutely no ground with a forecast like this. We do have some showers uh, across the vineyard and then 